So, hey, besties. My Jack Squid just got here. I think I ordered it from the same people who I got my Fizzerali wig. Um, honestly, I don't... <laughs> I usually do, like, a 30-second short about styling wigs, but I wanted to do something to go more in depth on depths of how I styled my Fizzerali wig. Now my Fizzerali wig is gonna be completely different than my Jax wig. But I'm just saying, I'm gonna give some insight on how I actually style my wigs. So let's get her open. I haven't actually opened this yet. I blocked out my information. So yeah. <laughs> We have the Jack Swig, and we're gonna see what we have to do. So I did get a two-toned two wig because that was the one I really liked, and um, that's the one I wanted to get. But the other version of it didn't get here until April twenty-sixth, and I needed it at, at till the April twenty. I needed it at the t April twenty-first. For first, first, so yeah, I got this version. I ordered it like two days ago. I got here pretty quick. Struggling to open it, get it out with a wig gap. So needs a good brush and stuff, and a good cut and some gluing, but that can be easy. So yeah, we're gonna go style this. Grabbed Fizzy Boy. He doesn't stay up as well. His hat is too aggressively big. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take it off. I don't have my fancy clips because I can't find them, so. Yeah. We're gonna use pressing wigs that, uh, hair clips that are kind of annoying. So prepare yourselves to scream at the freaking camera. Fiona. No, sorry. Bertha. Changed her name. I forgot about that. Her name is Bertha. That is her canon name now. It's Bertha. It has been decided. Here we go. This wig is gonna work really nicely. Which way does this go? I think it goes like that. We're just gonna shove that in there. There we go. Only took 83 years. I'm gonna go grab scissors. Well, you're gonna come up with me. Found them, we're good. So I am basically just going to give this bad boy a good trim. I'm gonna f do the bangs on camera because the bangs are the main part, but I'm just literally gonna thin out this part so we're gonna start by brushing it out because it really needs a brush. And then I'm going to thin out the ends and try to get out this lighter purple as much as I can.
Okay, so I finished that. It actually turned out much better. You cannot see most of that. I'm gonna cut that piece off because that is way too long. Nope, I don't know how I let that slide. Okay. Now I cut most of that dark purple off. Can't really see it now, which is nice. And now I'm just gonna add layers because layers is layers. Yeah. Okay, so this hair is about to be very itchy because this is very fake. Like this is not even close. So see this like layering I've done? All I'm doing is taking my scissors and I'm just like running them through. Oh, I didn't mean to cut that. Did I cut that? Oh, shoot. But I'm like this. Just running my fingers through. Not like my fingers, my scissors, but just cutting stuff off. Going along as I live my life. <laughs> now that I'm done adding, oh. Danny, be quiet. Um, <laughs> now that I'm done adding layers, we're gonna do the bangs, which I'm scared of. So we have to go on a trip to grab some things. We're gonna go on a field trip. Yay. That was really loud, I didn't mean to do that. So now that we have our ingredients to our potion, Oh, I just want to mention, you can use quick drying glue, tacky glue, Elmer's glue, not super glue, um, like, like this stuff, like this stuff you get at Dollar Tree, like Elmer's glue, tacky glue, like stuff like that. Um, so yeah, what you're going to start by doing for our potion is you're going to have a cup here. Open your glue, doesn't matter what it is, and you're just gonna. Now, if you don't wanna do this and you wanna use hairspray, cause this stuff does make it crunchy. If you wanna use hairspray, if you wanna use like got to be glued, I don't see why you couldn't do that. I just always used this. There we go. Use as much glue as you want. Uh, you could do a mix of Elmer's glue and tacky glue. You could do a mix of um, Elmer's glue and quick drying glue. You could do just a mixture of quick drying glue and tacky glue. Your choice. It's all gonna turn out the exact same if you decide to use glue. So now, just a reminder, the more water you put, oh yeah, you need to put water in here. The more water you put in here, the thinner it's going to be and the less good of a hold it's going to be. So if you want it to be less chunky and just to have like some sort of shape, add more water. If you want it to be thick and stay in an exact place because that's how the character's hair looks. You know what? Be my guest. I can't tell you what to do. But I'm going to add very little glue because for Fizzarali, I added too much. And then he didn't turn out exactly how I wanted. And you know what? That is okay. Why is this turning into slime? Um, you just want enough to... Um, have it to at least stay. Now, this is what I have. It's not quite too much, but it's not where it's gonna stay in place and be crunchy. Uh, because 
But Jax, I should actually add more glue because him, he needs to be the style I'm going for. He really needs to be, you know, in place there. My hands hurt, by the way. This is abuse for hands. So yeah, if you wanna. There we go. There we go. That is enough for me. I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna sit in there. Now, if you say this looks like a substance. <gasps> No inappropriate comments about the glue water, okay? If I see one inappropriate comment, you're being blocked. But yeah. Glue water. Delicious. Yummy. So yeah. Now we're going to move on to the next step because I'm tired of talking about glue water. So, you're going to take... Your wig. Oh no, I just got glue in his hair. Okay, you're gonna take your piece of hair. For what I'm doing, I'm kind of doing a curly thing that you don't have to do. I never said this was a tutorial. So now you're gonna take it. Oh, you also wanna take your straw. And usually I would use a boba straw, but I do not have that today. So we're just cutting it. And then we're going to probably stretch it out because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. You're going to take this. You're going to get it flat here. You're just going to pull out of water. Hold this chair. So you want this? Get it down. And you just smush it. Oh, dang it. You're just going to smush it in there. I'm going to put the straws in your neck. We're all going to take a minute to give a round of applause to my mom for hoarding plastic big round straws. So, yeah. We're going to take our straw. We're going to take our piece of hair. We're going to take some glue. We're going to put it on there. And you can't be afraid to get your fingers gluey because that's, yeah. So you're going to take a straw. You're going to put the hair in there. Like so. And you're just going to roll it here. Like this. And then you're going to take your bobby pin. And you're going to shove it in there. And you're going to bobby pin it like so oh god the hair came out dang it you know what gonna wrap it like this and then you're gonna bobby pin it like so because we're here for good enough Okay, you're just gonna repeat that until you run into straws, so I can only do three at once, so we're gonna have a time. And you can do as thick as slices of hair as you want, so yes. They work normally. You can use them. Just, yeah, you can use them. So, 
little fact. Don't follow that point where I'm like, oh, actually you could use these. Yes, you can. Now, wait an hour or until they're dry. I don't, if you chose quick drying glue, depending on the glue you use, wait until they feel crunchy. And then we'll move on to the next step. For now, clean up your area, okay? Don't be messy. Bye. So I'm actually going to split this into two parts. Sorry, I know I'm so horrible. Uh, it's just really long. Bye.